Hello guys, welcome to my brand new channel Accelerate. My name is Stone and I'm here to kick your Excel skills into higher gear. So today's episode is all about user forms, so let's get straight into it. So I'm on my desktop here and I'm going to create the new uh, Excel spreadsheet. I'm going to rename it to read user form. So first of all, what is a user form? A user form is usually a pop-up menu that prompts a user to in insert any information like your username and password within a login function. And that's what we're trying to replicate here today. So I'm going to go into our Excel spreadsheet that we just created. Most of you will notice there's no developer tab activated in the ribbon here yet, but that's an easy fix. We're going to go to File, Options, we're going to customize the ribbon and we're going to tick this box that shows developer here and hit OK. So this inserts our developer tab here in the ribbon and this opens up a whole new possibilities to program and use VBA within Excel. Right, so let's insert our first command button. We're going to go to insert. Here under ActiveX controls, we've got a command button here. You can reshape the command button any way you like. I'm just going to keep it like that and by default it, re it names this command button to command button 1. We're going to change the caption here in the properties menu. Here in the caption line item we're going to change it to read show user form. And we're going to exit our properties here. We're going to exit design mode. So now if we click on this button nothing happens yet because we haven't programmed it to do anything yet. But this is where the fun starts. So we're going to go back into design mode. We're going to double click on the button. So this takes us straight into a VBA user interface. And you can see we, it already prompted some of the code there. And this might seem daunting to some of you who haven't been programming in VBA yet. But I'm sure it's, great, it's straightforward. And I'm going to be here step by step to show you the way. So I'm just going to hit enter two times here to make some space here for the code. And now we're going to insert our very first line code here. We're going to say user form one dot show. And what this means is if we're going to click on that command button, what needs to happen? The first user form in the spreadsheet needs to show. The second step is we're going to right click here on VBA project. We're going to go to insert and we're going to insert our first user form. So we can reshape the user form by clicking on this handle. And for now, we're going to keep things simple. We're just going to change this caption. So it reads user form one currently, and we're going to change that. We're going to click on the properties window tab here. And then under the caption line item, we're going to change it to read welcome. There we go. So you will see the user form one has been changed to welcome. And let's say we're going to insert a label. So here in our toolbox tab, if you don't see this toolbox yet, you will see I'm just going to deactivate it here. In this ribbon, you will see there's the toolbox button. You can click it. And on the left hand side, you'll be able to use the tools inserted here. So I'm going to go and insert our label here. You will see it populates it quite small, but we're going to change the font here. So in the font line item, it defaults to Tahoma. And if we click on this little ellipse button, it will give us the opportunity to change the font into any font that we like. So usually I go with Century Gothic and we can bold it out and I'm going to go with a nice big size, let's say 22. If we say OK, you can see it, it populated this label to a larger font. I'm just going to place it here in the middle of the, our user form here. And we're going to change the caption as well. So let's change that caption under the line caption item. We're going to say hello. And we're going to hit enter. Right, there we go. So there's the label inserted in our user form. So the next step is to insert a command button within the user form. So in the toolbox option, we've got the command button we can insert here. It defaults also to command button one and we can change the caption as well. Let's say it needs to read cancel. So if we hit this button in the user form, what needs to happen? We double click on this button and once again, it takes us straight into the code section here. We're going to hit enter two times here. And now we're going to say 
user form one dot hide just hit enter so if you click on that cancel button it's going to hide our user form we can exit the visual basic interface here we're going to exit design mode and let's see if our programming worked here so we're going to click on the user form and you will see our first user form popped up it reads hello and if we click on cancel there we go it hides so it does exactly what we programmed it to do so the next step is we've got the function down let's look at form so this user form isn't as sleek and doesn't look as nice as it can be I'm going to show you a nice trick to make it look sleek as well. So I'm just going to hit cancel once again. And now I'm going to go to insert here in our ribbon. I'm going to insert a picture from my device. So I'm going to go to my preloaded pictures here. So I downloaded these pictures from Google Images. And you're more than welcome to get pictures that look more or less the same than these. So I want this user form icon. I'm just going to double click on it and it inserts our picture here in our spreadsheet. So what I'm trying to do is to assign the same VBA code to this picture so it does the same as what this old school button look, does. So I'm going to right click on our image and I'm going to assign a macro. Now you'll notice there's no macros created here. We're going to create our first macro here now. So I'm just going to change the macro name to show user form underscore click. And I'm going to click on new. And this takes us again into our Visual Basic interface. And you guessed it, we're going to say user form one dot show. Exactly the same code we used in our very first button there. I'm going to exit the Visual Basic interface. I'm going to left click on the spreadsheet here and now you'll notice if we click left click on our picture it does exactly the same as our old school button here it pops up our new user form so it's going to hit cancel here i'm going to go back to our developer uh, tab design mode and now i'm going to left click this button i'm going to delete this because that button is unnecessary anymore so now you can move this picture and resize it any way you want in our spreadsheet and it will do the exact same job so this looks a little bit better within our spreadsheet but now let's say we want to make this user form itself look nice as well so I'm going to show you a nifty trick to get that right as well so I'm going to go back to our visual basic interface here we can click on the visual basic button or you can hit alt and f11 right I'm going to double click on the user form one and now let's say we want to change the background. I'm going to highlight this label and then you will notice here there's a back color line item here with a drop down button. And I'm just going to change this to let's make it a white color, a window background. So you'll notice it changed the background to white, but there's a still gray uh, background in the user form itself. So you just left click on the user form and, and follow the exact same method. You go to back color, drop down list. And we're going to change it to a white background so there you see there, this looks quite nice and but we still have this old school cancel button so you can drop that down a notch and now we're going to insert an image so in our toolbox tab here we're going to click on image and we're just going to reshape this image and place it here in the middle and now we're going to insert an image in this image control here. So you will see there's a picture here. It currently has no picture loaded. You can click on this ellipse button. It takes us back to that preloaded images that we downloaded from Google Images. And I'm just going to select on the cross option here. So it populates our picture, but it's quite zoomed in as you can see. But uh, it's a quick fix. So we go here to picture size mode drop down list and we're going to select the third option here zoom so that zooms out the picture and makes it look nice but it still has this border though so let's take away the border as well so you left click on the image and then on the line item that reads border color drop down list and you apply the same format that we did with the background so we're going to apply the window background here this takes away that border and this looks quite nice now so you can left click on the old dinosaur button here 
you're going to click on delete and now we just need to program this image so we're going to double click on this image and then this populates a weird code here after this underscore so you can highlight the whole line here we're going to hit delete and then it should show private sub image one underscore and we're just going to say click hit enter and then thankfully we already coded the, the, the that old dinosaur button so we can literally highlight our previous code user form one dot hide you can right click select copy you're going to click here on our new line item here right click paste and this will, will do the exact same job what we also can do is I'm going to show you a nifty shortcut I'm going to just take out the code there I'm going to highlight our first code again I'm going to hit Control C and then Control V so that's a nice copy paste shortcut that you can also apply I'm going to exit our user form here and let's see if our code works so I'm going to click on our button there we go it, it shows us our user form this looks quite nice and sleek and if we're going to hit that X button, this will close our user form as well. So that's it. User form is quite easy for VBA and that's a nice intro into VBA programming. But I'm not going to leave you there. I'm going to leave you with a little teaser for our second video. I'm just quickly going to open that. I'm going to add a picture lookup within the user form. So this is quite a nice nifty trick. So we're going to replicate a login function. Usually if you log into Google um, Mail, you need to put in a username and a password. So we're going to try and replicate this with our second and third video. So if we're going to click on this button here, our passcode button, it's going to prompt you to show from which territory you are. So I've populated this combo box to show South Africa, Australia and Ireland. So if I'm going to click on the South Africa button, and it populates our little South African guy here enjoying his beer and braai kicking the rugby ball and if we're going to click on an Australian item here it's going to show the Australian bloke here and then if we click on the Ireland it says top of the morning to you there's a pot of gold the Irish fellow shows quite nicely as well and if we hit on the X button it should close the user form so that's what I've got in store for you for our second video thank you very much for tuning in so from me, Stone, and from Accelerate, I'm very glad you could tune in. And if I can get 100 likes on this video, I'm going to put in my files there in the description for you to download. Hit that like, hit that subscribe. Please recommend me to anybody that you know that loves Excel as much as I do. And I'm going to see you for our next episode. Cheers, guys.